Hi, welcome to excelrush.com. Today we are going to learn seven techniques, seven ways in which you can use the flash fill feature in Excel. Let's take the first example. You have a list of names. You want to split them into first name and last name. Here, I'm going to simply type the first name as it is, press enter and then press control E. Control E is the shortcut for flash fill. It will automatically understand that you wanted the first name from each of the cells. Similarly, here I will tell the last name and control E and we're done. If you had the first name and last name separately in two columns and you wanted it to be combined into one column, I would write the entire name as it is with a space in between, press enter and control E and I'm done. Moving on to the second, you want to display the names in terms of a passport name. So for example, I write in capital letters, the surname space slash space, the first name space salutation. I press enter and control E and I'm done. Let's go on to the third example. I have a couple of dimensions. I want to show them in a different way. I want to show them as 20 into 19 into 18. If I press Ctrl E, I'm done. I could even say 20H into 19W into 18B. If I press Ctrl E, I'm done. Similarly, if I write them only as 20 and I press Ctrl E, I'll split it up. Only 19 and Ctrl E, I'll split it up. Only 18 and Ctrl E, I'll split it up. But in this example, you also got to take care of a very, very important thing. Let me copy this data here and show you another example. What if I had 20, 20, 20, all three were 20 and I wanted the dimensions. If I write 20 here and I press Ctrl E, it's going to pick it up correctly. If I write 20 into 20 into 20 and if I press Ctrl E, it's not going to understand. It's replicating the first value three times. So you must ensure that the first three values are different and never the same. If this data itself, let me show you one more way. I had this 20, 20, 20 not here. Let me remove the formatting. If I had the 20, 20, 20 here, and now if I try it, I'll just remove that extra space in between, extra space, yes. Now if I try it, it's going to work. I can say 10 into 5 into 6 and it is going to work. So the first row needs to be in a proper manner for it to understand what exactly you want. Going on, fourth example. If I have an email ID and I want to split it as a name, if I write Rushab space Shah and if I press Ctrl E, it's not going to understand because in the email ID, there is no, there is nothing that separates the first name and the last name. But in the second example, a dot is separating the first name and the last name. So I can say Rushab space Shah, Ctrl E, it will understand. Going on. If I have a list of addresses and if I simply write the state code and if I press Ctrl E, it will work. If I write the pin code and I press Ctrl E, it works. So you can split the state and pin code from any address like this. Going on. This is my customer data. I have a name, order ID and amount. I want to inform the customer by sending him a text. So I can say, dear Rushab Shah, your order ID is R1092 and amount is rupees 78,000. If I press Ctrl E, it works. But the only problem that has happened is here it is RS 78,000, RS 30,000. Now PD, where did this PD come from instead of RS for rupees? Because Excel thought that the RS in the first two cases is the Rushab Shah and Riddhi Shah RS. So in such a case, you need to 
ensure that you do not make such mistakes you can use INR and if I just do this and press control E it works last example you have phone numbers you want to format them so I can say 202 555 1231 and I'm done similarly if you even don't have 202 common it will still work 726 8973 control E it works use flash fill to minimize a lot of your work you don't even need to use any formulas while using flash fill so remember the shortcut for flash fill is control E thank you for watching